Most homeless children are not living on the streets by choice. They are there due to circumstances. This is what Durban resident Tom Hewitt wants the world to understand. In the late 90s, Tom started an organization that teaches homeless children to surf. Yes, you heard right, to surf. This activity helps the youngsters to regain their self-confidence, paving the way for them to reintegrate into their communities, ultimately reuniting with their families. Tom Hewitt left his home country of England more than 20 years ago. I came out originally to South Africa uh, with an anti-apartheid group looking at the, uh, the situation in 1990. And when I came to South Africa, I met just incredible people all over the country, uh, an in incredibly wonderful, beautiful place, and uh, just uh, fell in love with South Africa. Two years later, he felt the need to explore Africa further. So he relocated to neighboring Mozambique. Uh, while I was there, I met street children, and it really hit me because I'd never actually met street children, or even, I didn't even know street children existed, to be honest. Taken aback by the plight of the children, he worked as a volunteer for NGOs in the height of the civil war in Mozambique. While Tom loved that country, his heart was still in South Africa. So in the mid-90s, he packed his bags again and headed back to the south. When I came back into South Africa, I started looking f uh, at, at the kids in the local area and wondering, you know, seeing kids on the streets, thinking, man, there's kids here living on the streets as well. And almost from that day on, I wanted to do something, be part of, uh, of helping street kids. For Tom, it wasn't hard to come up with a way of making a difference. He fused his passion for surfing with his strong desire of helping homeless children. And in that way, he started the Durban Street Team, which he later named Surfers Not Street Children. But the idea was a team that worked in the streets, developing relationships of trust with the kids and looking at how we could get them out of the streets, empowered, back into their communities, reintegrated. Andy Lezulu is one of the first youngsters Tom rescued from the streets of Durban. He left his home when he was just six years old due to extreme poverty. Andy's grandmother and aunt were both unemployed. I decided to go and look what, what I could do for myself and what I can do for them instead of sitting at home and watching the wars and not doing nothing. But on the streets, he was confronted by an even harsher reality. Yes, you have to dig in a bin and find what I can able to eat. Over the years, Tom developed a formula to try and understand the children's state of mind. The engagement program included soccer, drama, music, martial arts and surfing. And surfing was really the most popular one that we had. It absolutely captured um, the, the, the hearts of these kids. After thoroughly investigating why the children are on the streets, Tom's organization tracks down their relatives and paves a way to reunite them. And there's a fantastic support network after they've been reintegrated back into their communities. Uh, so they, they continue to develop the relationships, to monitor things, to make sure the kids are supported so they don't return to the streets. The project is funded by Food for Thought, a scheme that encourages restaurant patrons to donate some money whenever they buy food. Since Tom's organization started operating in the late 90s, it has rescued dozens of youngsters. While many of them were introduced to the sport as part of their therapy, they've gone on to become professional surfers and are now competitive and sponsored sports stars. Street children are human children. They've just had this really bad run and they just need help 
and they also need to be listened to. They have great ideas, they have solutions of their own, and if we listen to children first, it'll help us realize how we can engage with them. There you have it. That's it for this week. Join us again next time as we explore the lives of those who dare to dream. My name is Mpola Gaje. Cheers. ENCA.com